hello everyone. Uh, my name is uh, Marianna Pazych and I'm a machine learning engineer in uh, DeepSense AI. And today I want to talk to you about zero shot object detection with grounding dyno. Um, first, uh, we will talk about uh, what do we gain from zero shot object detection and what it actually is. Then we will talk about what is grounding dyno. Uh, I will show you some grounding dyno example results and I will present you some extensions to the uh, to the grounding dyno. Uh, what do we gain from zero shot object detection and what it actually is? Uh, let's assume we want to prepare a um, detector for some specific object. For example, rat. We have a restaurant and we uh, have rats in it and they are not nice uh, rats who can cook like Remy from Ratatouille. They are uh, unsympathetic unsympath uh, rats and we want to get rid of them. And so what do we have to do? It's quite a long list. We have to collect the data, a lot of pictures on, of our uh, rats. We have to clean it. Uh, erase some uh, errors, bad, bad examples. Then we have to annotate our data. And that is a lot of work because uh, we have to decide uh, what do, will we use for the annotation? What kind of tool? There is There are a lot of them. And how do we want to annotate our data? Do we want boxes? Do we want polygons? If we need polygons, there will be even more work to do. Uh, then we have to prepare sp splits, uh, split our data into training sets and testing sets. We have run our trainings and this will take uh, a long time. Then evaluate our models, tune them, etc. So it's a lot of work. And what if we don't want to do it or if we can't do it? We can try to use some pre-trained de detector. And the most popular pre-trained detectors are trained on the COCO dataset. So let's check if we can um, find rats with pre-trained COCO detector. We cannot. There are no rats uh, in the COCO. There is a mouse, but it's totally different mouse that we need. It's not going to help us find rats. Uh, so what we need is a zero-shot object detection model. So the model that will allow us to detect anything, any class we can imagine. And is it not just fantasy because the rats detected on these images were uh, detected by the by the, the this kind of the model? Uh, they were detected by grounding dyno, which I found almost accidentally during one of the internal projects, and I totally fell in love with it. Uh, so what is grounding dyno? Uh, it was proposed in the paper this year, uh, marrying dyno with grounded pre-training for open set object detection. It was developed by IDEA Research. It's the International Digital Econo uh, Economy Academy. Uh, and uh, as you can see, we can use it to uh, detect some, for example, COCO predefined categ categories, but we can also use it to uh, detect some new categories like ear, lion, bench from the example. But we can also detect uh, things by some human input sentences like uh, the left lion. Um, how does it work? Uh, grounding dyno is uh, made of uh, dyno, uh, which is a closed set uh, detector based on the DET architecture. It means and it has a convol convolutional uh, backbone to uh, prepare image features, then transformer, encoder, decoder, which will give us uh, box predictions. Um, and those box predictions, uh, the, there is a set fixed number of box predictions that we get from that. 
uh, it's always the same. And if we have less image uh, object in our image, the rest will be bounding box with no class, no object. So here we would have two bounding boxes with bird class and some number of uh, bounding boxes with no class. And uh, to uh, to compute the bipartite matching loss, which is use, used in this uh, in this training, uh, we will. Um, we will uh, uh, match each of the pre-trained, uh, each of the predicted uh, bounding boxes with uh, ground truth bounding boxes. And if we have less ground truth bounding boxes than, than the predicted grounding boxes, we also have to pad them. And then we match one to one. Um, now I will, I will mention one additional thing that I forgot before, before, because when you hear Dino, some of you probably already thinks about those two papers you can see now. Some of you maybe would uh, find uh, them if you if you uh, put Dino in the uh, s s search engine. Uh, these two popular Dino, Dino one, uh, Dino and Dino versus uh, version two, uh, by Meta AI are completely different things. These uh, they these are like concepts of training of uh, unsupervised training uh, for the best uh, image features but this is not what we are talking about we are talking about just normal closed sets uh, object detection detector called also dino uh, so back to the to the dino architecture we uh, i i just told you that we have to match those uh, bounding boxes one to one and it's uh, very often confusing and those matchings uh, sometimes changing from uh, epoch to epoch and that's why it uh, took forever to train that and to address it there was a, an idea to use uh, uh, grounding uh, ground truth uh, bounding boxes as anhor boxes for our uh, uh, detector and to th this way it, it was not necessary to match those those boxes any anymore but it was too easy for the um, for the model so uh, those uh, grounding uh, ground truth boxes were uh, noised so there was uh, a lot of noised uh, boxes instead of single ground truth box and the uh, model was uh, has to denoise it during training it was uh, not uh, it only happens in training phase uh, and that's what happens in denoise it, uh, that so d and that and then dino changes it a little bit uh, more and uses contrastive denoising training. It means that uh, there are some noised boxes that needs to be denoised and some box, uh, noised boxes that are noised too much and uh, the model should just uh, uh, consider them errors. Uh, and Dino detector is uh, uh, then used to uh, prepare grounding Dino, which is open set uh, object detector. So it is uh, it has image backbone to get uh, image features, text backbone to get uh, text features. Then it has a feature enhancer uh, layer. Uh, it's uh, their uh, text uh, to image and image to text cross -cor correlation it used to uh, is used to enhance the features and it's a concept taken from the glip uh, and then it has uh, language guided uh, query selection and uh, cross modality decoder and we have uh, our uh, objects detected in the end uh, let's look at the benchmark. Uh, authors of Grounding Dino uh, claim they achieved uh, zero shot COCO uh, uh, benchmark uh, uh, at uh, 
52.5 AP, which is quite impressive when you think that Faster and CNN has 40.2 when it's trained on the COCO. And this is our zero shot uh, benchmark. So let's look at some examples. Uh, when you use grounding dyno, you can use just uh, classes, uh, class, class names. They can be separated by dots and then they will be used as, as class names. So I used some uh, Coco, uh, Coco classes that are not in this image. I expected nothing will be found, but some things were actually found. One of those things were teddy, was teddy bear. And I think it's okay, it's good enough because it's maybe very big and maybe very scary, but I think it's actually a teddy bear. And second thing was sheep. This is not a sheep. He might be a little offended, but it's an animal on four legs. So I think it's fair enough. Uh, then I tried some classes that can actually can be found in the picture. And uh, in my opinion, it's 100% uh, good. We have found all the animals on the signs, uh, shoes, caps, and, uh, and the jacket, so everything is here. Uh, I tested another image. Uh, I looked for girl and a goat, and we found both girls and all the goats. But it's easy. It can be done with any uh, detector trained to find girls and goats. And grounding dino can do more it can find us a girl sitting on the yellow goat and a girl sitting on a pink, pink goat. Uh, this is another example. So on the left, I just was looking for a person. We just class from Coco and we can do it with any pre-trained uh, decoder. But then I was looking for a person in blue shirt and a person in red sneakers. And I think this is great. This is uh, cool because we can, of course, do it by ourselves. We can first uh, get some object detector and make it find a person and a shirt and sneakers. And then we can compute some IOUs to, to match our shirts with our persons. Uh, then we can uh, use our B-books uh, from uh, shirt or sneakers and, I don't know, make a histogram of, of values and look for the color. Or we cannot do it and just use single sentence in the prompt and just get the result. Uh, and here are uh, the examples from the background. Uh, because Grounding Dino uh, finds quite good, also uh, less obvious uh, objects. Objects from the background, like, like clouds, gr grass, trees, sky, and the sand on the playground. But when we look here on those images, those uh, bounding boxes are not very useful, like this bounding box that uh, shows us the road. Uh, it's the road is actually only a half of this bounding box and we don't know anything about its direction so it's not very useful segmentation would be much better for this uh, this case and that's when uh, the extensions to grounding dyno uh, come uh, there is a github repository grounded sum that was primary uh, made to prepare grounded segment anything, the demo, that uh, allows for uh, segmenting everything by uh, prompting, uh, by text prompts. And this is not any new architecture. Uh, this is not a new model. This is just a demo combining two uh, models. So we have grounding dyno, we have image and text prompt, and uh, grounding Dino gives us a box, and then those boxes are used as box prompt in segment anything uh, model, and this way we get segmentations in the end. Uh, so back to our example, uh, I think all of the objects are segmented really good, and it's it looks really, really nice. Um, and just like I said, 
grounded sum was primary uh, repository for uh, segmentation of uh, text uh, open set seg segmentator but then uh, the authors uh, got a little crazy i get and uh, i guess and they started to prepare all of the other uh, kinds of demos and uh, one of them is ram grounded sum which can be used to automatic for automatic labeling so you just give it an image and get uh, automatic labels boxes masks and tags and how does it work? It's once again not a new architecture. It's just uh, another uh, another element added to the pipeline. So they use RAM model recognize anything model that is uh, a tagging model, uh, which uh, based based on the image gives us tags and uh, captions for this image. And tags are then used as, as text prompts for the grounding dyno and boxes from grounding dyno are used as, as prompts for segment anything. And this way we have uh, those uh, automatic labeling. So here on the image we already saw, uh, it founded girls, it founded two goats, it also founded two horses. So I think it's like a Evans for them. And here's a baby carriage. Uh, this is the example from our uh, DeepSense uh, Warsaw office. Um, <clears throat> and uh, as you can see, it is described as uh, a living room. So uh, it's a nice office, I guess. Uh, and another uh, example from the, uh, the Warsaw office. Uh, all the elements or the uh, objects on this image are, uh, in my opinion, nicely, nicely found. And when you uh, go to the uh, grounded sum repository, you will find a lot of other uh, demos. This is not just grounded segment anything anymore, because you can find there many different uh, things based on grounding dyno. So there are uh, demos for in painting, for uh, whisper, for uh, prompting with with your with the with you speaking. There are chatbot demos. There are demos that can uh, produce you 3D body posture models and a lot more. Uh, and I guess they might be even more than I saw when I prepared it uh, two weeks ago. So I think it's a very nice uh, a repository to like visit sometimes and look what, what happens there. And to sum up, well, it is possible to uh, prepare zero shot object detection. Uh, and all the things I uh, showed you, all the uh, examples were prepared with like no line of code, just demos and prompts. Um, Grounding Dino is really easy to use. It actually works. You can just install it without any uh, bugs, errors, problem, and just use the demo and uh, enjoy. Uh, Grounded Sum is an extension for zero-shot instance segmentation uh, that you can also use. Uh, RAM Grounded Sum allows for uh, automatic la labeling. And uh, this uh, repository with grounding dyno extensions is constantly expanded with additional demos. So uh, I hope uh, you enjoyed it and you will check it and find something uh, nice to work on. So thank you. And that's all from me.